f of x equal to modulus of x minus pi, modulus of plus modulus of x minus 100 plus modulus of x minus a minus 50. Distance between x and a, distance between x and 100, distance between x and a plus 50. The maximum value of f of x becomes 100 when a is equal to. And so very nice. So let's put 0 a x 100. So, first of all, the maximum value possible in this function, this is modulus of x minus a, this is modulus of x minus 100 or 100 minus x, either way it won't matter. And then modulus of x minus of a plus 50, from a plus 50 we are subtracting uh, x or from x we are subtracting a plus 50. And so this is the function, f of x is modulus of x minus a plus modulus of 100 minus x plus modulus of x minus a minus 50. When will this be maximum for a given a, right? for a given a, this is 100 minus a, be maximum when x is 100 because x minus a minus 50 is remaining or a plus 50 minus x is remaining, one of these two. And so x pl a plus 50 could be so small that x minus a plus 50 is remaining or a plus 50 is large but x is even larger from x to a plus 50 that distance is remaining that is the remaining distance that we need to calculate finally we need to include distance between x and a plus 50 nice this is built in always equal to 100 minus a maximum distance between x and a plus 50 that will be the maximum of 100 plus x. Distance between x and a plus 50 plus 100 minus a is equal to f of x. 100 minus a is this and this adds up to 100 minus a. Right? And distance between x comma a plus 50 plus 100 minus a is f of x. The maximum possible value of f of x becomes 100 when a is equal to. So maximum possible value of f of x becomes 100. So that means distance between x and a plus 50, remember a plus 50 could be higher than x or x could be higher than a plus 50. And so when x is higher than a plus 50, the maximum value would be when x is 100. And so and a plus 50 is some value, we find that out and, and, and come back. The when, when a plus 50 is less than x, a plus 50 is this side, distance between x and a plus 50 is so once again when x is 100 and a plus 50 is higher than s when x is lesser and lesser. Right? That's, when, that's when this happens. Now the maximum distance between x and a plus 50, a and a plus 50 lie somewhere, x is more than a, if it is less than a plus 50, I put x at a, that's when that distance will be 50. That's the maximum I can have. Put x at a distance between x and a plus 50 can be as high as possible. x cannot go below a. So the maximum difference between x and a plus 50 is 50. That's the maximum possible. And so it cannot be more than 50. If, because x cannot be less than a, that much we know. a and a plus 50 distance is 50. If x were greater than a plus 50, then we'll have 0, a, a plus 50, x. Then x and a plus 50 cannot have a distance of 50. Why? Because x, if a plus 50 were 50, x would be 100. That's not possible because a plus 100 will, will be more than 100 because 0 less than or equal to a. So the maximum distance, this, this value maximum would be 50. When x is at a and a to a plus 50 distance is 50. So this maximum is 50 or when the maximum goes to 100, 100 is equal to 50 plus 100 minus a or this maximum is when a is equal to 50 and we have a scene on your web 0 50 100 and x is in between 50 and 100 in that case the maximum value of f of x will be 100 minus a plus x minus of a plus 50 in which case the, when x is 50 that's when the maximum will reach out to 100 absolutely delightful question super difficult super tough super tough right so we have to reframe this 
modulus of p minus q is the distance between p and q on the number line that's a funda you grab onto that bunch of these questions become that little bit more global and that's something that we should look to grab onto Thank you.